All right, now we're going to look at shading um, as far as like how to shade without gradient uh, on a computer. So this is pretty simple stuff, but just in case, you know, you're totally, totally new. Um, so again, I'm not concentrating on any one character here. I'm just putting down sample strokes. And then what we're doing is just playing around with those. And let's say I had to blend some of these areas. I wanted to put some texture in here, but really blend them out. Well, I couldn't use this. I couldn't use something like a blur tool because it has a gradient. And this gradient wouldn't translate well over to like silk screening or um, there's, there's a few other technologies that we use, but the, the blur is not a good thing. What really translates well is straight up line art sometimes. And um, what, what we can do is grab just your basic everyday brush and make it smaller. But since we have those keyboard shortcuts set to maximum, we have to go in here and change it this way. And then have your dynamics off and turn up your weight. So let's say I need to cross hatch. Okay. Bigger cross hatching. None of this small stuff, none of this stuff. Because that won't translate either. So you have to you have to almost get really big and bold cross hatching maneuvers here in order for it to work. Again, I'm talking about silk screening, t shirt making, the artwork thereof. So practice this stuff. And you can also use like um, let's say I made stipple point. Just stipple points. Then some cross hatching. So that translates well. And keep ink when you're doing the ink. You can always use the ink to actually make the this stuff too. So a two. Oh, not smooth stroke. Actually, uh, we're looking at size. So let's put the size down to like 2.8. See how wavy those are? But now I have variation. I can go this way and it becomes lightweight. And this way it can become dark. And the mixing the dark with the thin and the thick adds visual interest. Yeah, good stuff. So all those are really blurry. Now, another thing you could do is go to the blur tool. If I have something that's blurred, if it's small enough, if, it, if it's something like that, or coming off the form, th that blur might be able to sharpen. You, you can try it. So if I want this to fade from here to there, I could go like this. And there's a couple different ways you could do that. I might be able to sharpen it. 
Well, what this is going to do is, is basically going to it'll start breaking up. And then I can use this one, which is the burn tool. And I can go in here and get it to the point where it's dark again. Little blur right there. Oops. So you can see the combination of blur and uh, the burn tool allows you to kind of bridge gaps between lines. All right, so that's enough of that. Practice with uh, shading. You always should be shading or trying to sh come up with different shading techniques, but try to come up with different shading techniques that doesn't revolve blurring things together. Alright, so enjoy. Let's move on to the next video.